Hey guys, it's Leah Virgin, your Christian life coach and author at BurstingWithBlessings.com. And today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everyone. I am so excited to be here with you guys because it's going to get hashtag real and raw up in here. <laughs> hey, my friend. Thanks for popping on, girl. I love you. Um, so we had the blessing of talking with Tara UCB of the app called Bless yesterday. And she imparted some really awesome truth to me that you are successful the moment you step out in obedience and faith to God. And I want to be, you guys know that I am very raw of you and I give you almost all the details, not all the details, but as I have built my ministry business over the last uh, almost, well, my first step was God said, start writing. And things just kind of developed from there. I had no idea what God was ultimately calling me to. It's a long story. I won't bore you with it. Um, but it's a very fascinating story to me of obedience and courage and battling fear daily. Daily, you guys. Um, it has been one of the biggest growth journeys in my life is building this ministry. And... My idea of worldly success and trying to please God um, is often not in alignment <laughs> with God, right? How often do we have a preconceived notion that's been imprinted from our childhood or the world around us or whatever uh, of, of something, right? You know, a preconceived notions of what beauty is, preconceived notions of what success is, especially, Right. And so for me, the preconceived notion of success was, you know, was doing so many things, building this so big that, you know, I was ministering to hundreds of thousands of women. Right. And that doesn't mean that God won't ultimately get there. Uh, it's on my vision board. <laughs> but when she said that we are successful the moment we step out in faith, it is resonated so deeply in my soul and it truly is something that we as mothers struggle with right we we struggle with getting it right um i'm struggling right now with a very hormonal teenage daughter and trying to meet her needs and not uh feel like a failure as a mother and i you know, have triumphed a lot in that over the last few years. It's now one of the affirmations I say. I am an amazing, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I am an amazing uh, mother and wife because God has imprinted his wisdom upon my heart and mind, right? Wisdom from his word. And that has transformed my mindset about failure as a mother and as a wife, right? And I find that that is the biggest area we struggle in as women. It's fear of failure. It's fear of not getting things right. It's fear that we're not doing enough, right? We're trying to raise our children and work and keep a clean home and make sure our friends and family are happy and make sure we have some self time and make sure our partner's happy and, 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 right? Um, and, and that's really a worldly right? That's, that's comes from the world. It doesn't come from the word. You know, God never said, uh, by the way, you need to be perfect and do it all. He actually said the opposite of that. <laughs> um, he said the opposite of that. He said, rest in me. Um, come follow me. My, my yoke is, is light, right? And so, you know, it is a daily, you know, it's a daily walk for me to, hey, Crystal and Brett, how are you guys? Um, you know, it's a daily journal, journey of asking God, where, where's the balance for my, wife, my life today? Where do I need to push through? Where do I need to just rest that you will multiply the work? that I'm doing, that you will redeem my mistakes. You know, God never says that we have to be perfect. He simply asked us to walk by faith, to step out in obedience to the calling and the gifts that he has given us 
to trust in him, to rebuke the fear, and to walk by faith, right? Not by sight, right? And hey, my friend, thanks for popping on, Sandra. Uh, and so, you know, today I just thought this was a perfect verse and it just lined up with what we needed to hear from yesterday's devotional and yesterday's live video. And, you know, God sees us. He is the God who sees. He is the God that wants um, faith steps, not perfect steps, faith steps. We are successful the moment we step out in faith. It doesn't matter what the worldly outcome is from our eyes. Our eyes don't see like God sees. God sees the chain reaction of us walking by faith. Um, and so I'll read the verse and then I'll tell you a quick thing. So James chapter 1 verse 25, the message version. But whoever catches a glimpse of the revealed counsel of God, the free life, even out of the corner of his eye and sticks with it, is no distracted scatterbrain but a man or woman of action. That person will find delight and affirmation in the action. Right? That's all he wants. Us to step out in faith. Do what we think he's calling us to. And leave the rest in his hands. You know, and often when we pray and ask him to show us, like the other day I had been thinking about, you know, how much work is on my plate right now and do I need to start cutting back on some of our live videos? And my friend popped up in my DM today and said, hey, I was driving and I saw your DM, your, your live on Monday and I needed it so desperately. She said, I had been crying and praying for God to give me a sign to ease my burden, to show me, and it's long and I'm not going to go into detail because that's her story, but just the sheer fact that she asked God for something, saw that I popped up live, hit the button, what I was saying was speaking into her life, and I didn't know that. I had no idea. I had no idea that I was sharing a message that God wanted her to hear. We don't know what lives will impact today, tomorrow, who will impact who will impact another. We don't know our legacy that we're leaving behind. And God doesn't say, I'm gonna give you the whole picture. Because if he gave us the whole picture, we'd be in the corner going, I can't handle it. <laughs> he trains us up day by day, asking us to walk by faith asking us to rebuke fear in the name of Jesus Christ, asking us to grow in the word. And then he says, I'll redeem all the other things, all the mistakes, you know, all the, the fear that, that we're somehow going to fail. James, uh, James 1, verse 25, the message version. Um, and it's in the daily devotional. If you scroll through my uh, page, you'll see it. And so it just, to me, I just, I mean, she spoke into my life. I needed that answer. I answered her prayer and she answered mine. God uses us to answer each other's prayers. And, you know, we just, he's so faithful. And he doesn't really ask a lot. We make it a lot. We make it a lot. From all the input that we get in the world. And it's so hard to pull the worldly input out and just put in the words of God. You know? And, and so I just encourage you guys today, just one step. Rebuke the fear. And let whatever the outcome is be in God's hands. He doesn't need us, but he uses us. Because that's a blessing into our lives. 
right? We grow by that faith journey. We grow by stepping out of the good ship comfort and walking by faith and not by sight. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for this Wednesday. Thank you for your holy word. Thank you for using each and every one of us uh, for your kingdom agenda, Lord. Lord, I pray that you would um, give us a craving for your holy word, that we would imprint your holy word upon our hearts and minds by reading it daily and by walking it out in faith. Lord, help us to rebuke the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ, the enemy of fear, and all the whispers of the enemy that we're not good enough. You said we don't have to be good enough. All we have to do is walk by faith. All we have to do is trust in you. You redeem the pieces. You are the healer, the sustainer, the redeemer, the savior, the creator. Lord, help us to grow and to serve and to do that what you have called us to do that is not a burden, but a delight, a delight to our souls and minds to be a blessing to all those around us. We are blessed to be a blessing. We give you all thanks and praise this day, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, my friends, for joining me today. As always, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, Karen, for Hopping on, victory in Jesus. Yes, ma'am. Amen. Amen. All right, you guys. I wish you a bunch of blessings. I will see you in the devotionals over the next couple of days. I will not be going live on Friday. There's just too much going on. <laughs> but I have plans for us. We are going to have the um, Bible studies going to go again in July the 26th, the start of the Woman of Worth, How to Be a Woman of Worth Bible Study. It's going to start up again. And I have another um, course I'll be working on, which is going to be so fun. So you guys can plug into that and we can grow closer to God. If you guys have any special prayer requests, please feel free to post or DM me. And I will see you guys soon.